In order to start developing with Django, we will need to install a few things. First, let's install the latest version of Python, which is currently 3.7.3. I'll start with going to a browser and navigating to python.org. From here, in the second header section, I'll click on the download link. Reading the header on the page, it says download the latest version for Windows, Mac OS and for other platforms that is Ubuntu. These are the following steps to run on terminal to download Python on Ubuntu. With Python, Python comes pre-installed on all versions after Ubuntu 14.04. You can access it by typing the following on into the terminal for Python 2. Whereas sudo apt get install python will install python 3. With python installed, I now need to install Django. To do, to do this, I'll, I'll go to built-in terminal program for the Ubuntu. When I installed python 3, it also installed a script called pip3 that installs python libraries and tools. If you are on Windows, you will need to install pip instead of pip3. Later, when we use the python3 command, you will similarly need to just use python without the 3. I am going to use it to t install the latest version of Django, which is currently 1.11.7. I will do that now by typing pip3. install Django equal equal to one point one one dot seven and hit enter. Now that is this is done. Uh, it will install bytes. Okay, now this is done. Zango comes with this PyTZ library which offers time zone support. Lastly, I like to install the text editor I will be using to write my code. For this course, I will be using the PyCharm editor. If you are already familiar with the different text editor or ID, you can skip installing PyCharm and use whatever you are familiar with. I have installed PyCharm by coming to www.jetbrains.com and clicking the download here. Here we have professional and community. Accordingly, we can download from these two and we can go with it. Now that we have everything installed that we need, we are ready to develop our Zengo project.